Welcome back to Tran Plays Vorax. The game has patched. So let's take a look and see if we can interact with the vehicle this time. We can do something. Uh, I will include footage at the end of this showing that I did really look at this object. Now, again, my strategy for this kind of thing is to just work along the edges first to get everything lined up with anything. And generally everything kind of just falls into place at that point. Like that. Oh, well, that car's in surprisingly good shape. After, you know, all, everything that has happened. What the hell is that? That thing is huge. Leave immediately with the gas mask. You should be able to get through the sewer. Let's hope there aren't any further surprises down there. Move as always with extreme caution. Everything I'm looking at with the radical, I'm mashing E. Alright, just behind the house, next to the shed, will be the primary entrance we were using. There's another sewer uh, entrance which is possibly closer to the target destination, but I've already sealed that area off in the first video we did. Because I was expecting to make excavations or trips to this area through... Oh, that respawn or did I just not pick it up the first time? Anyways, uh, that I expected I'd be making trips to this place through our, our house. Uh, that was actually a purposeful test of mine. I was intentionally walking instead of sprinting because I wanted to see, was that good enough? The answer is no. But that's okay because it's good footage for me to kill enemies. Come on. Unarmed assailant versus shotgun. Who do you think's gonna win? Filters already almost used up. I don't think I actually brought any filters with me. That was stupid on my part. Probably because I was never expecting to actually obtain the filter. No, I do have some filters. Okay. Also, my dude is not actually scared at all, apparently. If we take a look at uh, the consciousness level, residual concentration, decreases the agitated situation. He's He's fine. But well, when it becomes nighttime, he's terrified. Walking through a den of zombies? Totally cool with that. Also, did my gas mask replenish at all? I thought it was much more depleted than that. Come on, that's a bunch of rebar. I should be able to use that. Right now, my chainsaw is completely depleted of gas. I'm pretty sure it had gas in it before. 
But loading the game just made it empty out, so... We'll try move Oh, he's automatically putting in new tanks, isn't he? A keeping tab. Yeah, he's used used up both. Okay, that explains what's going on. I didn't want my hammer out. I hit two on purpose, but he may have still been an animation of climbing up the ladder. I don't need fuses, I need more filters. <laughs> okay. I feel like that wall should break or something. I don't know. I was not shooting at the fire extinguisher, but I just took a lot of damage. Was it just a delayed scream for my character? No, I'm bleeding, that's why. Same room I was in earlier? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because the fire extinguisher was missing from this room. I didn't shoot that one either. Yeah, let's try crouch walking through with the flashlight on. Ah, I see. So I was crouching before I interacted with the ladder. And when he got when he climbed off of the ladder, he was not in crouch mode anymore. Oh come on!
room is clear. Pretty sure all the other zombies or whatever they are are just part of the background. And I am completely out of filters again. Well, I guess I'm boned, because looks like I needed to have gone through that other tube, the one I bypassed. <laughs> that one's closed, and I have no gas filters. Well, I'll get to show you how quickly going through one of those rooms without a gas filter kills you. But since I now know which rooms look poisonous, and I, I can save all of my gas filters at this point. So, ready? Actually, let me, let me fully heal so that you can see that I tried my best to run back through, but I have no filters left. Let's go ahead and heal up. And I'll have to just kind of replay this segment again. That's no biggie, because I'll get to save my gas filters. Heal up all the way, and we'll try to make a beeline straight for the ladder. Who knows? I might make it. There's the ladder. Let's go. Alright, um, yeah, we'll keep that as footage, because there was no way for me to know that I was going to entering a dead end. And you saw how fast those gas, that gas filters were expiring. So, all right, I, I will meet you when we get back to that sector. All right, we're back inside. I searched for the house where I suspect that I hid some gas filters and I found four extra ones as well. Uh, this time we're gonna try to just run in real quick and kill all, uh, gank all of the zombies. Maybe I can actually uh, get their attention out here from out here. Almost like, almost like these guys are helpless. Also, they, but they are soaking up a bunch of my bullets. Okay. Alright, so we'll hop on in, loot the loot the room. There, yeah, there is more. Okay, was he jumping at me when I shot him, or was he just having trouble navigating the pile of bodies there? Until the reticle turns red, he's not actually dead. If it ain't red, he ain't dead. There we go. Now, they might be infinite, but I wanted to loot this room anyways. I don't even know what I'm picking up. I'm just, I just see the loot and I want it. So we're still on our first gas filter.
because I'm looking down to aim at the ladder, when he does his about face after finishing climbing down the ladder, he's pretty much staring at the floor. I guess I could try climbing down a ladder without looking at it. <laughs> that tends to spell disaster in video games. Alright, so last time we went up this ladder because I was trying to finish investigating each region as we went through. I'm assuming he knew I was there. Because I saw movement. Well, now they should know I'm here. You gonna go right through the bodies? Fine, I'll just shoot you. Well, I was planning on doing it anyways, but you don't have to tell them that. It's almost not worth doing anything but a headshot. Assuming that's everybody at this point. Hopefully I won't have to fight them every time I enter. really know what you do or what you are but I'm just gonna say you have to die so that closes AO5 and opens AO7 but then we jump through AO5 so how would we get out guess we'll figure it out I'd rather have gas masks, but I mean, sure, I'll take those things. Oh yeah, I need to practice seeing if I can walk off the ladder without... Yeah, he, he will. turning back, unless I, of course, pay another gas filter. I don't know why I always close them. I guess I'm just very proper. I say that as I grab everything that's not nailed down. Anything else? I was, I was looking at my gas records like, wait, did I spend up all of them? But no, I still have the, the six I came in with. Minus one, I guess. I must have sw swapped out one at one point. Maybe I just swapped it out as I took off my gas filter. I'm gonna shoot this invisible arrow at you. <laughs> like Isaac Clark. Okay, I didn't release the arrow, but I guess my character just got tired of holding it.
saw another one. You can't fool me. Okay. Apparently that, that is what that thing does, is it releases them. You think killing the monsters calms them down? Get everything back. It's been like a month since I last played this game. There were survivors. Here's the question. Can I throw successfully over this rail or will I just Molotov myself in the face? That did absolutely nothing. Now, I guess I understand their red eyes is supposed to make them scarier, but for me, that just tells me where I need to aim. Alright, there's one more in there, but I've already, I'm spending a lot of gas masks just trying to deal with this room. But I, that's only because I didn't want to walk, climb down the ladder and just get ganked. Come on, that didn't kill you? Hopefully they don't respawn. That would be a waste of gas filters and ammo. And yes, the upstairs is gas concentrated. The bodies aren't up there. The entire room has spores or whatever you want to call it. Alright, last time I reached this point I had zero filters. I at this point have five filters, so we are in a better position. Though I have I don't have much battery juice. I don't know how I didn't actually notice how many <laughs> didn't mean to slide, but alright. Um yeah, I don't have much battery juice on my, my helmet left. Yeah. Oh, can't interact with that.
Cool. Okay, I guess that was the, the end of the demo. That's... Well, I mean, alright. So I made it to the other side. Though I never got to use the Uzi! No! Looking at the footage, that seems to be a very short episode. So let's throw some grenades on our way to get the Uzi. I actually killed somebody with that. I don't really like that the game auto uh, 180s me. It's a little bit weird. It's, I might have a particular direction I want to look as I climb off the ladder. F2 this time. Because I need to go back through it. I figure I'll give them two. This time we'll equip the Uzi. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, no, it's already on. It's already down here. I feel like a music sting should play when I equip it. Like, -da -da trying to see if there's any other bullets or anything to pick up. Yeah, that's, it's always I don't know why, but I feel like I'm, I'm a little disoriented after I dismount from the ladder. Okay. Also, your character goes into walking mode after he throws the grenade. But the thing is, the game still thinks you're running as far as toggle goes. So I have to click my run button to turn off running, even though I'm not running. And then I have to click again to run. I mean, it's not a big deal. These are just little things. Was there a fire on that? Okay. Uh, that's, the game didn't seem to recognize that I was holding... Okay, the, the first one just didn't show fire. Probably because I climbed up the ladder. I thought it sounded like there was one following me. You know, I, the games, when they do this, it's not easy, easy to aim, okay? Because I'm, I'm looking at the gun itself. All right, let's go right on down to them and see if they kill me, like, immediately, or if I can start putting up a fight as I run through. Yeah, I couldn't turn to aim at them because the game insisted on making me 180. Headshot you despite the game's best efforts to prevent me from seeing anything. All right, I think that's literally the end of uh, the dungeon. At this point, should be the exit. Oh, did I not flip the thing? I thought I flipped the thing. Maybe not. Well, it doesn't matter. There was nothing past this point besides the exit. So, all right, that'll be it for the episode. I managed to use the U the Uzi. I was gonna say U Z I, but <laughs> I managed to use the Uzi. Throw some grenades. I think we've covered all the stuff. And if there's any more content in Varax, I'll be sure to hit it. Thank you very much for watching Tran Plays Varax. I'll see you next time.